Your cardiologist has referred you for transplant assessment. You'll be here for the entire day. You'll meet our heart failure specialist nurse who will coordinate the day for you. Your heart failure nurse will help guide you through the various tests on the day, including blood tests, chest x-ray, lung function test, echocardiogram, and a cardiopulmonary exercise test. After having the tests, you will have the opportunity to meet your transplant cardiologist. They will discuss the results of the test with you and let you know whether you are too well for transplant, need further tests for transplant assessment, or need ongoing close follow-up as part of a watch-and-wait strategy. You do not need to fast. Bring enough money and medication with you for the day. There is a hospital canteen where you can buy food and drinks. Bring appropriate footwear with you in order to be able to walk on a treadmill or exercise bike. If you require an overnight place to stay, let us know and we can organise a room for you to stay in. An echocardiogram, or echo, is a scan used to look at the heart and nearby blood vessels. It is a type of ultrasound scan, which means a small probe is used to send out high-frequency sound waves that create echoes when they bounce off different parts of the body. These echoes are picked up by the probe and turned into a moving image on a monitor while the scan is carried out. The echocardiogram is very similar to the scan that pregnant women have to look at the baby in the mother's womb. You will be asked to remove any clothing covering the upper part of your body before lying down on a bed. You may be offered a hospital gown to cover yourself during the test. When you're lying down, several small sticky sensors called electrodes will be attached to your chest. These will be connected to a machine that monitors your heart rhythm. A lubricating gel will be applied to your chest or directly to the ultrasound probe. You will be asked to lie on your left hand side and the probe will be moved across your chest. The whole procedure will usually take between 15 minutes and 60 minutes. A standard echocardiogram is a simple, painless and safe procedure. The echocardiogram will help detect any abnormal heart rhythms and answer questions such as how strong is your heart? Are the heart valves working properly? Is there any evidence of infection? How high are the pressures in the chambers of your heart? Are there any birth defects? Is the heart muscle damaged or abnormal in any way? The exercise test is set to examine how strong your heart and your lungs are. We'd like you to exercise as long as possible. It's important for that reason that you're able to wear sensible shoes that you can exercise in, particularly walk quickly on a treadmill or on a bike. Make sure you wear loose-fitting clothing that you can exercise in. Make sure you're well rested. We wouldn't like you to drink too much caffeine. Please don't smoke and don't eat too much or do anything that will impair you from exercising afterwards. Before the test begins, the cardiac physiologist will explain it to you. You can ask them any questions or share any concerns you may have. To track your heart during exercise, we will put sticky patches called electrodes on your chest. We will clean your chest with alcohol and shave some areas if necessary before we put the electrodes on. We will attach an inflatable cuff on your upper arm to measure your blood pressure and a face mask to check your lungs. This will not hurt. We will ask you about the symptoms you have had while exercising in the past. Try to describe any chest discomfort, breathing problems, lightheadedness, dizziness, fluttering in the chest, weakness, tiredness or anything else you think may be relevant. Usually two cardiac physiologists will carry out the test with a doctor sometimes supervising. During the test we will check your heart rate and rhythm, blood pressure, breathing rate, the amount of oxygen you use and how much oxygen is in your blood using a finger probe. We will first take your resting measurement which will be for three minutes. During this time, you will be standing. After this, the treadmill speed and incline or slope will increase gradually every three minutes. Keep walking on the treadmill until we tell you to stop or until you are unable to carry on. During the recovery stage, you should keep walking as the treadmill slows down. Do not jump off the treadmill. In the recovery period, we will continue checking your breathing, heart rate, blood pressure and oxygen level. After the test... You can eat and drink as usual. If you have any questions about the test, feel free to ask. The cardiac physiologists, doctors and nurses are there to help you. For your results, the cardiac physiologists will look at the data and produce a report. 
Your transplant doctor will be able to discuss the results with you in clinic.